What is up y'all's Cheeseburger TWR is back for another cheeseburger review round 72 fight. Welcome back and no you're not having deja vu. If you did look at the title to this episode, yes we are doing the McDonald's cheeseburger again. Uh, if you saw that first one, that was my very first review. Awful, terrible stuff. Not even kidding. Not pining for sympathy or anything. It's boring. It is a snooze fest. Like, I can't even believe I continued after, like, the first one or the first couple or whatever. I'm glad that I really bring the energy now. Like, I like to sit down and watch these now. And even, uh, I looked earlier today and some poor bastard actually willingly watched at least part of the video because I went to my analytics to see like what the views were and somebody watched the McDonald's cheeseburger review. Uh, I actually saw a McDonald's bag uh, in the parking lot of my apartment complex too so it's kind of like uh, fate talking again today but yes we are cleaning out the closet of 2022 here and uh, just need to right the wrongs. I might go ahead and put the uh, review in question uh, up here or up here, whichever side it goes. I have to flip the video once I like do the edits, which are very minimal. A one take Drake here, baby. But yeah, so uh, the, the first McDonald's cheeseburger review is awful. Um, I probably overscored it. Like I was rambling on for time and time and time and time and time. Uh, I feel like I do that now, but hopefully it's a lot more ent entertaining to watch. But like, that's the thing. It's like, if you're going to sit and watch a fat guy on YouTube stuff his face with food, it better be entertaining. There better be a reason to watch, you know, if he's going to strip naked then you better sit there and watch, stay glued to your viewing device. But with that said, uh, yeah, I guess uh, not going to go through too much. Hopefully this will be kind of a quickie. Uh, I don't know. Uh, again, five minutes. I don't know. Is that enough? I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, just, just one little story that I want to do since we are doing a redo here. Uh, back in second grade, we used to have like these pronunciation. It was like a weekly pronunciation test. Uh, I don't think it was called a pronunciation test, but... Yeah, we would have like a lift, list of 10 words and like one by one we would go in front of the teacher and we would say all the words and bam, 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 bam. I breezed through these all the time. I was just like probably overconfident uh, about it too as a seven-year-old child. So uh, I guess that explains a lot now. But anyway, yeah, one of the times, uh, one of the words on there was redo, but uh, your boy T-Dub said reddo. And then my teacher asked me again what the word was, and I said "reddo," and she was like, "That's not correct." And I was almost like crestfallen. I was like, <laughs> probably tears welling up in the old eyes, which I mean that probably doesn't happen anymore either. But uh, yeah, I did go to McDonald's, and uh, they did the same kind of customization as they did last time. Uh, hopefully, there's no marker on the burger, but. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and get after this. I haven't really eaten too much. I guess I've had a lot of sweet stuff today. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get after this. Um, yeah, and again, like I said, I'm, I'm glad that I really kind of changed the format of these or at least bring the energy now and just like, you know, just really uh, bring it. And um, because if I didn't, like... I was wondering, because I think after that first episode, I was like, oh, damn, that went pretty well. And I felt like I was feeling myself and I was like, oh, this is going to go far and everything. And like, I mean, to look at it uh, 10, 11 months later, it's just like, yikes. And uh, I'm glad I stuck with it. I mean, there's got to be a starting point somewhere. And uh, if you are thinking about undertaking anything new, uh, you know, just go ahead and get after it and... You know, the first one, the first couple are always going to be a bit rough, but like, just find your niche and find your path and, uh, you know, let God guide you from above. But uh, yeah, cheeseburger reviews, we're going to go ahead and get after it here. Um, here is the uh, McDonald's cheeseburger, again, very nondescript. Is there meat in there? I can't, oh, there it is. And uh, go ahead and take a look. Um, I'll go ahead and unbun this here for you too. There's a decent amount of ketchup. We've got some nice minced onions on there, diced onions. And then uh, that meat patty looks very small, but then we've got the, we have a pickle. 
We've got that cheese on there, and then we have the burger patty. There it is. Look at that. That is good quality McDonald's. And I just dropped it. See, I dropped it. McDonald's beef. But yeah, here we are again. Cheeseburger TWR, Tubby TWR, talking for five minutes. You're like, eat the damn thing already. So you know what? Here we are. Maybe try to get a, a thumbnail out of it. So 2022 has been grimace face emoji all the time ever. But here we are. And we're going to go ahead and get after this. Two chumps to you. All on Z. Happy December 30th. Happy New Year's Eve. Eve. Cheers. I always love how they toast the buns in there. It's a little, it's a little stale on the outside, if I'm being honest. Um, it doesn't really taste like much. Like, you don't get a lot of beef or a lot from the beef on this one. Yeah, it's not bad. The... The burger patty is super thin and um, like it's barely even there. Um, the pickle tastes nice. The, the ketchup is really sweet. Uh, the cheese is, I love McDonald's cheese. It's, it's very salty. Like I don't know, they probably put extra salt and preservatives in it and what have you. Yeah, I wonder if it's the same cheese that they use in the morning too. I feel like maybe the morning cheese is a little bit saltier. Must be more tired, but uh, yeah, I mean, we all know what a McDonald's cheeseburger tastes like. It's very nostalgic for me. Uh, not the best burger anymore, like anyway, and I feel like I way overscored it and way over talked it up previously. Um, so this time uh, we're going to go ahead and properly score this a top 20. So two out of five. It tastes good because I'm hungry and I really want to mow this thing down. I've actually got another one off camera. Uh, that I will down as well. I'm surprised I didn't eat it beforehand. But yes, uh, two out of five, top 20. Uh, good news for y'all that love me. Uh, we are doing a review today, the 30th, tomorrow, uh, December 31st, uh, and January 1st of 2023. So stay tuned and hopefully uh, everything goes well. I can't wait to do a review in January uh, as that will be a food review in each month. Uh, I guess one last thing that I want to say is it's raining like hell outside right now. But the good thing is it's 54 degrees and 54 on December 30th in Michigan is God sent and heaven sent. And uh, it is quite a blessing. There's not quite a blessing in Michigan in December quite like December rain. But with that said, uh, if you love me like Michiganders love December rain, Go ahead and give me the big thumbs up below. Uh, smash that like button for me. But give me your best hacksaw, Jim Duggan. Ho! Oh, smash that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already done so before. <laughs> Stutter some more, Tubby. But yeah, comment below. Uh, let me know what you think about this thing again. Let's get some banter. Uh, hopefully you like this review better than the first one. I know I do, but I mean, I love me. I get to see this beautiful fat face in the mirror every day. And uh, with that said, uh, I hope you all love yourselves and have a great uh, New Year's day and Eve and festivities and everything. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is where I leave you. Thank you and take care. Be memorable or be forgotten. Love you all. Take care. Bye-bye.